It's almost like people don't choose to be artists. Turns out to be what seems to be taking all of your attention and your interests. If you honor yourself and you honor those impressions, those thoughts, those ideas that you're getting and you, and you feel that they're worthwhile and you keep exploring it and keep expressing yourself through it, you end up being an artist. My name is Keith Clifton and I'm a woodworker. I spent most of my life in New York City and in Brooklyn. Now I call Dominica home. Doing woodwork is something that was new to me moving to Dominica. I had an idea for a bed and I went to a very good friend's workshop, Andy Manley, and I told him what the idea was and that I wanted to know what tools I would need to, to make this type of thing. I worked on it with him one day and I decided I really, really like doing this. And I went out and bought a workshop worth of tools <laughs> in about two days after that and started to do it. There was something in me driving me to do this. I create pieces that try to reflect my appreciation of nature. I work mostly with somewhat of a live edge to the pieces that I make and very much try to keep the wood in its natural shape as much as possible. I work outdoors, I work by sunlight. When it gets dark, it's time to stop. So I'm usually working on a few different aspects of pieces at the same time during the day. Working to a certain degree allows time to slow down enough so that you can really get deeply into what it is that you're, you're thinking about. It, it almost becomes a meditative process. For a very long time, like in my early 20s, I remember thinking it would be so nice to live like in a remote area so I can just focus on my work. The country is stunningly beautiful. Being in nature, having fresh clean water, having fresh air, having space so you could develop and grow in a really healthy way. I can't think of a better place to be. Dominica and New York are completely different. It's, <laughs> it's two different ways of living. Now, my, my background is Caribbean. You know, I, I lived in the Caribbean when I was younger. I was born in, in the Virgin Islands in St. Thomas and uh, lived in Trinidad. My mother's Antigua, my father's Trinidadian. And even though we were living in Brooklyn, I mean, you know, inside the house, the culture is completely Caribbean. Everything, the food, the music, you know, everything, the values, everything is Caribbean. My wife and I opened the shop. We moved here with our two children. I was um, so happy and so excited to be here that some of the things that were challenging did not get to be uh, 
a real problem for me. They would just learn how to do them another way. She didn't have that same experience. And, um, you know, there were some things going on to the point right now where um, we're separated. We're divorced, actually. And my wife lives in the States with the children. I live here. And, um, you know, that in itself can be very challenging at times because, uh, you know, I don't get to see the children nearly as often as I would like to. Before Dominica, I was also doing creative work. I was doing music production from very, very young, very young, five, six. I could remember listening to songs on the radio and realizing how they were arranged. It's funny because sometimes I can see what was the inspiration after it's already been done? Like it's kind of like it makes an impression on me without me actually saying I want to do that. And then I can see kind of like where it came from. Take a look at this. You'll see these in my chair legs. You see this very, this, this very same thing in the chair legs. The past work that I've done, whether it's been music production, whether it's been photography or so on, the desire to become better and better at it has supported me in doing the woodwork. Keeping the passion alive is not that hard. Actually, it keeps growing and growing and growing. You have to say, you know, the things that are important to me are worthwhile, and I'm going to spend my time and energy in expressing that and making that happen. Mm -hmm.